first let me tell you about the greater shatic foramen one thing which my student knows very well greater shatic foramen there is a muscle coming out here that is your pyriformis muscle here so from the greater shatic foramen which muscle is coming out here pyriformis now there are certain structures passing above the pyriformis and there are certain structures passing below the pyriformis let us see one by one first let's see above the pyriformis so above the pyriformis here you're able to see here that there will be superior gluteal superior gluteal nerve comma artery and vein so there will be superior gluteal nerve superior gluteal artery as well as vein passing from above the pyriformis wow it is such an easy thing to remember here my dear friends it is just above the pyriformis so please remember superior superior gluteal nerve artery and vein are going to pass above the pyriformis done now what about the structures passing below the pyriformis here everything else so below the pyriformis you'll be having inferior gluteal nerve comma artery and vein what else is required in the gluteal region nerve to obturator internus that and then nerve to quadratus femoris and yes in the very beginning i taught you about sciatic nerve so sciatic nerve is also going to pass through greater sciatic foramen but below the pyriformis perfectly right so this is like easy thing don't try to you know actually make some mnemonic a b c d and all those things and don't try to mug up it is very conceptual the structures are actually coming from the pelvis into the gluteal region and when they are coming into the gluteal region above the pyriformis there will be superior gluteal nerve artery and vein and everything else is passing below the pyriformis now along with these structures please include two more things pudendal nerve along with the pudendal nerve there will be internal pudendal artery and vein simply internal pudendal vessels okay now pudendal nerve internal pudendal artery and vein what is the story regarding this one listen here this is actually going to pass through the greater sciatic foramen fine after passing through the greater sciatic foramen these three structures pudendal nerve internal pudendal artery and vein these three structures are going to take a turn and they are going to turn around the ischial spine and after turning around the ischial spine they are going to again come via lesser sciatic foramen and then from there they'll be actually reaching the perineum region okay so from here itself we can actually remember like what are the structures passing through lesser sciatic foramen of course it will be the same thing pudendal nerve internal pudendal artery and vein the only one thing that you have to add there is even obturator internus muscle tendon will also pass from there sir so obturator internus the tendon of that muscle will also pass from the lesser sciatic foramen along with the same thing sir okay so in this manner please try to learn this conceptually now why i'm telling you this like you know very conceptually over here is in your exams the question that is being asked is what are the nerves what is the nerve which is winding around the ischial spine so which nerve is winding around the ischial spine remember it is pudendal nerve other structures will also be there i'll tell you later on but for now remember pudendal nerve is winding around which structure ischial spine now why do we have to know this one for your exams why because my dear friends remember pudendal nerve block pudendal nerve is the main nerve which is actually supplying to your perineum region suppose if you have to block this nerve pudendal nerve block the only site where you can block this one will be the ischial spine so you can easily identify the ischial spine and there you can actually block the pudendal nerve so pudendal nerve block will take place at ischial spine sir clear so for these two points you have to remember i repeat the two questions once more here already asked in your exam the nerve which is winding around the ischial spine will be the pudendal nerve and then pudendal nerve block will be done at the ischial spine sir perfectly done here